Hello everyone, Mr. Gillies here. Welcome to this video on two-way table probability. Okay, so we're going to build on uh, our knowledge of two-way tables by looking at how we can incorporate uh, probability questions in here. So first of all, I want you to practice what you've just done previously. So complete the following two-way table. So pause the video, have a go, and when you're ready for a solution, press play. Okay, so uh, we need to got uh, six gaps we've got to fill in here. So I'm going to fill in the total here, the total for 9b, first of all. So we've got 40, subtract 24, that should give us 16. Fantastic. Uh, how many people in class A played football? Well, 7 plus 6 is 13, and 24 subtract 13 is 11. How many people played football in total? Well... 11 plus 3 is 14. How many people in class 9b played rugby? Well, it's 12 in total, subtract 7, gives us an answer of 5. So how many pe people in 9b played hockey? 5 plus 3 is 8, and then 16 subtract 8 is again 8. So how many people played hockey in total? 6 plus 8 makes 14. Okay, well done if you got that one correct. Okay, so let's take a look at our first waggle then. So we've got 40 students in two classes, 9A and 9B, where that's what their favourite sports were, uh, rugby, football, and hockey. And as you probably realise, it's just the question that you've just done. Now it says here, a student is picked at random. What is the probability that a student chosen at random has football as their favourite sport? Okay, so there are 40 students in total. That is our denominator. So it's something out of 40. Okay. What is the probability a student chosen at random has football as their favourite sport? Well, how many students have football as their favourite sport? Well, it's 14. So the correct answer there is 14 out of 40. Okay. Now, always with fractions, you should look, can you simplify them down? Okay. We can simplify them down if we divide both of them, numerator and denominator, by 2. That's the highest common factor. And we should get 7 out of 20. Part B, what is the probability that student chosen at random is in 9B and has hockey as their favourite sport? Okay, so again, we're looking at a total of 40. And this time we're looking at students in 9B and hockey. Now, 9B and hockey, that is simply just 8. So it's 8 out of 40. Okay, again, we can simplify this fraction down. 8 out of 40, highest common factor of 8 and 40 is 8. So we have to divide both of them by 8. We get one out of five. Okay, pause the video. Have a go at these two questions A and B. When you're ready for the answer, press play. Okay, part A. What is the probability that a student chosen at random travels to school by car? So, 42 students in total. How many of them travel by car? 16. Okay, so we're looking for the highest common factor of 16 and 42 to see if it cancels down. We've got highest common factor of two. So we should get eight over 21 as our final answer. Brilliant. Part B, what is the probability that student chosen at random is in year nine and travels to school by bus? So again, we're out 42. Year nine traveled by bus is eight. So eight out of 42 is correct, well done. Can we simplify it? Well, the highest common factor of 8 and 42 is 2. So we can cancel them both down by 2. So we're going to end up with 4 over 21. Why well, don't we've got both of those correct? Okay, so for our second waggle here, we've got Paul's got a deck of 50 cards, each with a shape on it. The shapes are either red or black, and the information is shown in that two-way table. The card is picked at random. What is the probability that the card has a black kite on it okay well first of all let's take a look at the two-way table what's the difference between this one and ones we looked at previously well the ones we looked at previously is that we don't have a total at the end okay so that's something we have to bear in mind but we know there are 50 because it says in the question in total so what's the probability it has a black kite okay so black and kite is 13 so the probability is 13 out of 50 does that cancel down? Well, no. The, high, the only common factor of 30 and 50 is 1, so the final answer is 13 over 50. 
What is the problem is the card has a square on it. Okay, well again, we've got 50 cards. How many have a square on it? So it's 17 plus four, because that's 17 red squares, four black squares. So it's 21 squares in total. 21 over 50, right, does that cancel down? No, it doesn't. The only common factor they've got is one. So the final answer is 21 over 50. Okay, here's what we need to do. Pause the video, have a go at this question here. When you're ready for a solution, press play. Okay, it says here now then. So we should have picked it random. What is the probability that the student is a girl in year eight? Okay, so first of all, how many students do we have in total? Well, in the question, we are told there is 246 students. And how many girls are in year eight? 32. So it's 32 out of 246. Uh, common factor, highest common factor of two. So we can simplify that down to 16 over 123. Okay. Now it says, what is the probability that a student is in year nine? Okay. So what's the probability that a student is in year nine? nine okay so again there are 246 students how many students are in year nine 38 plus 52 well that's 90 okay brilliant okay um so it's 90 out of 246 um highest common factor of 19 two and 246 well they both got a highest common factor of six so if we divide them both by six we would get 15 over 41 okay so well done if you got both those questions correct with either of the correct fractions, absolutely brilliant. And that's it for me. So have a go at the worksheet questions. Complete all questions. So that's every question from exercise one, exercise two, and exercise three. Assess your work using the mark scheme attached. Upload your work when you're finished. If you've got any questions, please let's say to contact me. If not, I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.